Hello and welcome to Infinity. Hey, I got a new camera, a bit better resolution and frame rate and stuff like that. Anyway, let's have a look at using um, stock photographs, which are there's a very, very simple interface hidden away with this. So let's start off. I will create a new image. Um, just a, here we go, it's a A41. And let's put the DPI, just to show you something, down to, say, 50 dots per inch, which basically is going to make a smaller thing. Anyway, here we go. So it's A4, but it's not really that big. And if I go to View, Studio, and Stock, what I'm going to get here is going to come up this. I can also put this down here and drop it into the ones over here. I'll just put out here for now. Get the layers on. And I've got here three stock photography with there that there is free. Um, Unsplash, Pexels and Pixabay lets you find free photographs to use. Um, which is, even if you're editing your own photographs, it's often good if you want to try technique out. So for example, if I'm, you know, do a video on something, you'll say, how do I, let's have a go at that. You can find stuff to do it here quite quickly and easily. So if, for example, I say mountains, then it's on, on Unsplash, hit enter, and I get lots of mountains. And if I double click them, it goes to the website and I can see it in full image there. Or if I drag it onto the image, it will just drop it in as a layer. And as you see here, this looks a bit funny because I've only got part of the picture. So to find out how big that is, I'm going to go to the Move tool, hit the Control and roll the mouse wheel. And as I go out, here you go, here's the size of the picture compared to the low resolution thing that I had. And this is so I do this. If I hold on the Control key, when I zoom it in, it goes in towards the center. So I let control zero to get back out again. So this is my, my full size picture here. If I zoom into this, you can see it's there. You can see it's kind of pixelated here because it's trying to fit into this. In particular, I can, re this, this comes in, this is a, the title's too wide for that. If I just pull this wider. Here you go, see. There, see, it says it's an image, so it's held like a little thing by itself. But if I right click this and go down to rasterize, or I could do it via the layers menu, it now turns it into a pixel thing. So now the pixels are the pixels as here, so it's basically shrunk the picture, so it's now smaller, which is great if you want to, to save file size. Um, Another trick with this, by the way, because if I say I want to look at mountains in one of the others, say and see what's on Pixabay, look, the word mountains has disappeared. I have to type it in again. So what I do, I type in mountains, Control A to select it, Control C to copy it, so that if I get the Pixabay ones, there's mountains there. But if I go to Pexels, I can click in there and get Control V to paste in mountains again. If you're going to be looking around for things like that. And then we get one from here. If you click on the little thing here, by the way, when it says powered by Pexels, you'll go to the Pexels website and there's all the terms and conditions and things like that. But basically these are, th these are free ones. So always check the terms, but they're, they're, they're good. They're lovely pictures, um, generously given by photographers. So there we go. That's a very, very easy thing to do. So for example, if I wanted to take this, I want to boom, put in something. Let's just do a little bit of click on there. Notice goes to the green, so I can hit it in the middle. And I'm going to drag out to something. Let's have text about that size. On here, I'm going to click on the middle one, so align center. So I can say mountains that I like. Or something like that, and there we go. I could be that could be the cover of a, a document and so on. Normally, of course, I do a high resolution one, but I just did the low res to show you that effect. Anyway, there we go. How to use stock photographs very, very easy. Uh, and if you use them a lot, just drop them in 
over here and then you can pop over and find the ones that you want. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.